Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration of four different methods on how to insulate screwdrivers for electrical usage. Also, don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com or click on the link in the description below. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future tutorial videos. This is intended for low voltage applications where you won't risk harm to yourself and prevent damage on a live circuit or as added protection for professionally insulated tools. For higher voltage applications, only use a professionally made and tested insulated tools. When applying any of these methods, ensure the screwdriver shaft is clean. Any dirt on the surface may cause application issues or adhesion problems. Before applying any of these products, use a clean cloth and wax and grease remover for cleaning. Method number one, using heat shrink. Heat shrink is available in a variety of colors, voltage ratings, and shrink rates. Some can be purchased on a roll or pre-cut lengths. Size the piece of heat shrink accordingly, use the side cutters to make an appropriate length, then install it on the screwdriver's shaft. Use a heat gun to shrink the tube, applying even heat all the way around. A lighter can be used, but I don't normally recommend it, as you can risk burning the heat shrink. Here is the final product now. Method number two using electrical tape. Electrical tape is available in a variety of heat ranges, thicknesses, widths, colors, voltage ratings, and application recommendations. Simply wrap the tape around the shaft, stretching each wrap ensuring maximum adhesion along with half an overlap on each layer. Once done you should be left with something such as this. Method number three. Here I'll be using liquid tape. Again, this also comes in a variety of colors and ratings. Make some type of wire hanger to elevate the screwdriver until the liquid tape dries. In order to keep the liquid tape off the tip of the screwdriver, you can apply painter's tape to the tip and then remove while it's still wet. Ensure the product is mixed and apply it with a supplied brush. Multiple coats can be applied if desired, just allow the product to dry sufficiently in between coats. Dry times will vary, so consult with the product's instructions first. And finally, method number four. Applying a rubber coating used for handles. This product is also available in a variety of voltage ratings and colors, so always consult with the product's details. Mix the product accordingly, then dip the screwdriver shaft in the coating. Just like liquid tape, multiple coats can be applied, allow the product to dry in between each coat. After the final coat has been applied, let the coating cure before usage. Once the rubber coating has dried, use a dull knife to score the tip of the screwdriver this ensures we don't scratch the screwdriver. Then slowly peel the coating away to expose the tip. New videos are being uploaded every week to my channel, so subscribe to this YouTube page by clicking on the button below. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them. Thank you for watching.